Hi there and welcome to this quick tips video on Simon Phillips Studio Drums. Simon Phillips Studio Drums is an expansion pack for Groove Agent and Groove Agent SE. Don't worry if you don't have the expansion pack, it's still worth a watch. I'm sure there's quite a few things you can still pick up. In this video, we're going to look at some of the parameters we have access to. We're going to break the kit down into individual parts and then put it back together again and look at some of the different mix settings. Let's check out one of the presets straight up without doing anything to it. Now I'd suggest using a good set of headphones or some studio monitors to listen to this tutorial. That way you'll hear any subtle changes. Let's start with the room and overhead microphones on the kick. Let's increase the volume through the overheads and drop it out. Dropping both the room and overhead out will give us just the kick mics. The resonance volume is the volume of the rest of the drum kit resonating through these microphones. As with any drum kit, you can tune anything with a skin on it. We can get a tighter sound or a looser sound, as you can with the envelope. Watch what happens when I move the attack. It gives us more of a distant sound. Now we can hear our transients. The decay does exactly what it says it does. We can control the length of time before this instrument decays. If you wind it closer to the left hand side, it'll shorten the sound, and sometimes that's necessary to make it fit into the mix. Speaking of making a kick drum fit into the mix, the Simon Phillips Studio Drums includes triggers, so we're blending two sounds together. We can change the tuning independent of the kick drum. It's just a matter of finding a level where it adds punch, or it adds some sparkle to the kick drum. You can hear the punch there. You can individually tune kit parts through the overhead microphone. And you've got an envelope so you can change the attack, hold and decay. The room microphone has a case of anything the overhead could do, well it can do exactly the same. And you'll notice there's the same parameters there. Moving on, let's look at the snare. There's the direct sound, no resonance. You can tune it and once again affect the envelope. In addition to the auxiliary snares on the left and the right, there's four interchangeable main snare drums. And there's two different types of hits on the main snare, so rim and the main hit. And of course there's lots of different articulations. These articulations become really obvious when we go up to the MIDI effects. Let's go through some of the rudiment types. That's pretty neat, but down in MIDI delay, you can pretty much custom design your own rudiments. A good studio drummer knows how to tune his kit, and toms are one of the most important parts. Let's have a look at the tuning options in this expansion pack. A realistic envelope is extremely important with toms. You might want to shorten them to add a specific reverb over them. Let's quickly have a look at some of the other kit parts. With the hi-hats we can control the shank, tip, foot and the amount the hi-hat is opened. Let's move over to the octave bands. I'm going to change the tuning and the room and overhead control on these octave bands.
Let's reset the kit back to a direct sound with very little room or overheads. I want to show you how important the triggers, the four different types of snares, and most importantly, the room and the overheads are in the overall mix of this kit sound. So we've had a visual look at some of the kit parameters, but what about the mix window parameters? In the mix window, we can go and select the snare menu, and once again, we can balance out all of our snare drums. We can add even more shape and ambience to this kit by using the four auxiliary sends. Watch what happens when I wind auxiliary one up on the snare and add a reverb. wind it back down and I can send to that reverb from any kit part. I've already mentioned how important rooms and overheads are in a drum recording. Take a listen to this. That is very well recorded. In terms of shaping the sound more, we can add an EQ, a compressor, a tape saturator and an envelope shaper to any one of these kit parts. Even the room mics. Let's add some distortion to the room. That is a really phenomenal tone. And if you want, you can squash the bar Jesus out of your room and overheads. I'm not being very subtle here, but you get the idea. There's quite a few drum kits that come included with this content pack. So once you find a mix setting that you like, you can save it and recall it over the top of any drum kit. You just go up to the disc icon, name it, and save it. This is quite a useful feature because in addition to saving our own drum mix presets, we can go in and load all of the Simon Phillips drum mix presets over the top of any one of his kits. Let's load a couple of them up. Every one of these mix presets contains the channel strip, the auxiliary sends, the kit and master effects. Not only does this expansion pack have great sounding kits and grooves, but it's almost as though everything is interchangeable and flexible. And then there is that it's Simon Phillips playing the drums.